recording in progress. So in this class, we are going to start our new chapter that is sensitivity analysis. Some call it as positive post optimality analysis. As its name indicates, post optimal analysis means optimal ke baad analysis karna. For example, I have given you a model, right? You have already solved that model. And you have obtained the optimal solution that this will be my optimal solution. Later on, I found that, oh, oh the cost of this variable, the profit was not 40 rupees, but the profit was 50 rupees. So will you solve the problem from the starting? And it will be very difficult and time consuming and cost effective. So that comes under the part sensitivity analysis. For example, later on, my client has told me that I have to add one more variable and this, that it should consider this thing also. I am producing one more unit of that. So will you solve the problem again? No, because it will be very time consuming and cost effective. So that actually we do your sensitivity analysis. We will discuss here four parts. There can be so many parts that you can change the cost, you can add variable, add constraint, delete variable. But what we will do, we will discuss change in cost. Change in cost means change in the cost of objective function of any variable. Right. Second, change in right hand side. Third, we do that addition of a variable. The last we do addition of constraint, right? So we will do firstly the change in cost, right? We will start from the example, then I'll tell you what it will affect. So we will start with the example that if I am doing the first part that is change in cost. Change in cost. So the example is that you have to maximize z minus x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 subject to you have constraint 3x1 minus x2 plus 3x3 less than equal to 7 minus 2x1 plus 4x2 plus less than equal to 12 minus 4x1 plus 3x2 plus 8x3 plus a, less than equal to 10 and all your x1, x2, x3 all are greater than equal to 0. Now, this question is given to you. They have already solved this problem, right? That they are giving the optimal table of the given LPP. The optimal table of given LPP is as follows. So the optimal table is given to you. Here you write your ZJ minus CJ. The optimal table in the last table that this variable is x1, x2. And obviously when it problem has solved, that they have added one slack variable in this, right? And one slack variable in this. One slack variable in the third constraint. So when we have solved this problem, obviously I have added slack variables because it is easy to solve, right? The optimal table corresponding to this is given to you x1, x2 and the variable s3. And these are the columns of x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, s3. And this is the solution. And this cb is given to you that the cost coefficient of x1 is minus 1. The cost coefficient of x2 is 3, two, 3 and cost coefficient of s3 is 0. Because when you will add s1, s2, s3, its cost becomes 0, 0 into S1, 0 into S2 and 0 into 
as three. The solution part they have already given to you that this is one zero 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 one zero and this is eight by five, three by five, and eleven. Next two by five, one by five, eleven. This is one by ten, three by ten, minus one by ten. This is zero zero one. And the solution is given to you four, five, eleven, and this is obviously zero, zero, and S three. This will be zero, and this value is your thirteen by five, one by five, and eight by ten. So you can notice that this is the optimal table because my problem was of maximization, and all my Z J minus C J are greater than equal to zero, right? So the question here starts that they have given. If the cost of if the cost of x one discuss you can start discuss the effect discuss the effect of changing the cost changing the cost of x1 to find its range so that the optimality is not disturbed so now they have given to you that you have to change the cost of x1 up to which range so that it should not disturb your optimality that means optimal solution that means this part it should not be changed so if you remember when we have done formulas that where my cost is included kahan pe meri cost include hoti thi jab main apne kya nikalti thi zj minus cj और क्या निकालती थी जब मैं अपना सोल्यूशन निकालती थी Z का मैंने किसको मल्टीप्लाई करना होता था सी बी इंटू एक्स पी को और जेड जे माइनस सी जे का फॉर्मूला क्या होता था सी बी इंटू अल्फा जे माइनस सी जे आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओनली इन दीज टू फॉर्मूलाज वी हैव यूज्ड द कॉस्ट कॉफिशियंट राइट सो नाउ यू कैन नोटिस राइट वी विल डिस्कस टू थिंग्स इफ यू आर चेंजिंग दिस इज अ रिमार्क इफ the cost of known basic variable is changed then only concerned zj minus cj will change then only concerned zj minus cj will change but if the cost of basic variable is changed then all zj minus cj will change are you understanding this concept right because agar mera basic variable change hua to basic variable se hi main apne sare zj minus cj nikalti hu to sare change honge kyunki mujhe wahan pe cost kiski chahiye basic variable ki but here If you are changing only the cost of known basic variable, sir of known basic variable का Z J minus C J change होगा और आपका कुछ भी change नहीं होगा. So here the question is given to you that discuss the effect of changing the cost of x one to find its range so that optimality is not disturbed. Optimality disturbed नहीं होनी चाहिए इसका मतलब मेरा x1 का मतलब ऑप्टिमल बेसिस में मेरा क्या रहे x1 x2 s3 ही रहे ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन भी यही रहे और ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन भी चेंज नहीं होगा अगर आपका zj जे माइनस सी चेंज नहीं हुआ बट ये तो आपका और चेंज होगा ही होगा अगर आपने x1 की रेंज चेंज कर दी राइट सो सिंस वी हैव टू डिस्कस द कॉस्ट ऑफ चेंजिंग द इफेक्ट ऑफ एक्स Now x1 is my 
basic variable that means all zj minus cj will change since so i can assume let the cost of x1 be c1 i am considering the cost of x1 to be c1 because i have to find the range so that my optimality should not be disturbed so when the cost of x1 is c1 and x1 is my basic variable which implies all zj minus cj will change right so what is the formula of zj minus cj zj minus cj is cv into alpha j minus cj cv matlab cost coefficient kiske basic variable ke ab aapne x1 ka cost coefficient kya liya hai c1 to yahan pe mera x1 pehla basic variable aa raha tha so i'll write here c1 x2 mein maine kuch change nahi kiya x2 ka basic cost coefficient 3 hi rahega and the cost coefficient of s3 is 0 alpha j minus cj is this clear now i have to calculate z1 minus c1 z1 minus c1 matlab main x1 ke liye nikal rahi hu x1 mera already basic variable hai to chahe aap calculate karo chahe nahi to wo aapki optimality pe farak nahi dalega this is alpha j what is my alpha j this column right this is my 100 first column minus the cost of your x1 ab x1 ki cost kitni hai c1 minus c1 to aapka answer kitna aaya 0 right kyun zj minus cj 0 aaya kyunki x1 aapka basic variable hai similarly agar aap x2 ke liye calculate karoge z2 minus c2 this will remain c1 3 0 and obviously the column of you can notice that the column of x2 in this this is your 0 1 0 so when you will multiply 0 1 0 minus the cost coefficient of x2 that is 3 it will also come your 0 why it is coming 0 because this is your basic variable next for if you calculate x3 z3 minus c3 that will be c1 3 0 my column of x3 in the last table it is 8 by 5 3 by 5 and 11 the cost coefficient is minus 2 so it is coming out to be my 8 by 5 c1 plus 9 by 5 plus 2 is it clear i have just multiplied right If I'll calculate for S one, that will be my Z four minus C four. This is C one three zero, and this is given to you. The last table. This is the column of S one two by five, one by five, and eleven. The column for S one. This is my cost is zero. It is coming out to be your two by five. C one plus three by five, and S two. के लिए निकालोगे दिस इज जेड फाइव माइनस सी फाइव सी वन थ्री जीरो एंड हेयर इज योर लास्ट एंट्री दिस इज वन एस टू एंट्री एंड दिस इज माइनस वन बाई टेन माइनस जीरो वेन यू विल कैलकुलेट दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी योर जी वन बाई टेन प्लस नाइन बाय टेन एंड फॉर एस थ्री ऑब्वियसली एस थ्री इज वाई Z six minus six six. If you will multiply, it will give you answer as zero because S three is your basic variable. Now the question is that if within what range you should find the range of x one so that your optimality should not be disturbed. Optimality किससे चेक करते हैं? How do we check optimality from the Z J minus C J? the optimality will not be disturbed if all zj minus cj all are my greater than equal to 0 because this is the case of maximization agar minimization ka case hota to kya karte less than optimal to iska matlab 
ये दिस इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो आई एम ओके विद दिस This is greater than equal to zero. I am okay with this. So, what range it should come that it should be greater than zero. It should also be greater than zero. It should also be greater than equal to zero, right? So, it implies when you will find the value of c, c one you will get as greater than equal to minus three by two. That means the range of c one is that is from minus three by two it goes to infinity. अगर आप x1 की कॉस्ट माइनस थ्री बाय टू से बड़ी पे चेंज करोगे तो आपका ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन चेंज नहीं होगा ठीक है सोल्यूशन चेंज नहीं होगा बट ऑप्टिमल वैल्यू चेंज हो जाएगी क्यों क्योंकि आप कॉस्ट से मल्टीप्लाई करोगे वहां पे इज इट क्लियर दिस यू हैव जस्ट टोल्ड द रेंज दैट माई ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन विल नॉट चेंज दैट इन माई बेसिस एक्स वन विल बी माई द सेम फोर X two will be five and S three will be eleven. Is it clear? Yes or no? Fine. The next question based on the same. That the next question is given to you that maximize Z is equal to two X one plus three X two plus four X three subject to. and the optimal table which is given to you is as the optimal table corresponding to this is given as x1 x2 x3 obviously when you will solve this problem you will add one slack variable in the first constraint and you will add the slack variable in the second constraint that means plus 0 into s1 plus 0 into s2 so here you have s1 and s2 and the last optimal table which is given to you that this is my x3 and this is my x1 Obviously, then this will be one zero and this will be zero one. Here, answer is one by four, five by four. And these entries are one by two, minus one by two, minus one by four, three by four, and this is three two. This is sixteen. And this is my z j minus c j. cost if it is not given to you you can write yourself also right because this is just the cost of your basic variable sometimes when they give the optimal table they write don't write this cost as well because for the optimal finding the table it is not required so first part is within what range within what range the cost of x1 varies so that optimality is not disturbed second within what range the cost of x2 varies so that optimality is not disturbed third is discuss the effect discuss the effect of changing discuss the effect of changing the cost 2 3 4 5 1 two, 2 right now the first part remains same right now you have to discuss that the very cost which you have to change is it a basic variable or it is a non basic variable so for the first part you have to change the cost of x1 and your x1 is your basic variable obviously if your x1 is basic variable all your zj minus cj will change so i can assume let because i have to discuss the cost of change right 
So let the cost of x1 be c1, right? So I will calculate zj minus cj. That will be cb alpha j minus cj. Now cb is x3 is your first variable 4. And this will be c1 alpha j minus cj. Z1 minus C1, if you will calculate, this will be 4 C1. Alpha J means your first column, right? Because you are talking about first, this is 0, 1 minus the cost of X1 is your, you have taken C1. So it is coming out to be 0. Why? Because X1 is your still basic variable. Z2 minus C2 is 4 C1. This is second column. This is 1 by 4 and 5 by 4. And the cost of x2, it is given to you that this is minus 3. So when you will calculate, it is coming out to be 5 by 4 c2 minus c1 minus 2. The z3 minus c3, this is 4 c1. The third column, the third column is your 1, 0. Minus the cost itself, which is given to you 4, so it is 0. You can calculate Z4 minus C4. 4 C1, that will be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and minus 0 because slack variable has cost coefficient 0. So this is coming out to be your 2 minus C1 by 2 and Z5 C5, that is 4 C1. This is the last column minus 1 by 4, 3 by 4, minus 0 because S2 variable has cost 0 in the objective function. This is coming out to be your minus 1 plus 3C1 by 4. Fine. So now the question is the optimality is will not disturb. Now the question is of your maximization. That means all my Zj minus Cj should be greater than 0. I am okay with this. But this should be greater than 0. This should be greater than 0. And this value should be greater than equal to 0. Right? So when you will solve this. You will get the value as C1 should be less than 4. And C1 should be greater than 8 by 5. And C1 should be greater than 4 by 3 that you will calculate. So you can decide the range of C1 that it should be greater than 4 8 by 5. And C1 should be less than equal to 4. Because this value is 1.6 something and this value is 1.3. So value of 1.6 body yogi that will automatically will be greater than 1.3. But the value which is greater than 1.3 is 1.6 is not right? So that means the range you got here for C1 as that this is greater than 8 by 5 and it should be less than 4. If you will change x1 in this range, I mean if x1 ko cost coefficient mujhe 2 given, I will 3 bhi kar dun, to mera optimal solution may still x1, x3 hi rahega, but aapki z ki value change ho jayegi, tab solution wahi rahega, kyunki solution aapka kya hai, 3 or 2, but z ki value aapki change ho jayegi, kyunki aap cb ko kis se multiply karoge, 3 or 2 se, aur agar aapne cost uh, x1 variable ki kari hoti, 3, to yaha pe aja ta aapka 4 or 3, then you multiply this with 3 with 2. Zero of Z change hota. Agar mene x1 ko kaha hota ki x1 ko change karo ki 3 ho gaya. Thik hai? Sare calculate bhi karke dekh lete. Tab bhi koi farag nahi padta. Zero of Z ki value aapki change hoegi. Iska matlab zero of optimal value change hoegi agar mein change karoongi. But optimal solution change nahi hooga. But if I give x1 as 5, then my optimality will disturb. So, हो सकता है कोई दूसरा वेरिएबल एंटर हो और x1 लीव करे राइट सो द सेकंड पार्ट व्हिच इज गिवन टू यू दैट यू हैव टू चेंज द कॉस्ट ऑफ योर x2 सो आई एम टेकिंग लेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ 
X two B C two. Now your X two is non basic variable. अगर non basic variable है तो सिर्फ मेरा change क्या होगा? Z two minus C two. Z two minus C two का formula तो वही है C B into alpha two minus C two, right? कॉस्ट कॉफिशियंट मेरे ऑलरेडी मुझे गिवन कितने हैं फर्स्ट पार्ट को अभी नहीं कंसीडर करना द कॉस्ट कॉफिशियंट वाज गिवन टू मी फोर एंड टू राइट एंड अल्फा टू अल्फा टू इज योर वन बाय फोर एंड फाइव बाय फोर नाउ एज्यूम द कॉस्ट ऑफ यू हैव टेकन एक्स टू एज योर सी टू सो दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी योर सेवन बाय टू माइनस सी टू इज इट क्लियर Now you are saying that optimality should not be disturbed. That means z j minus c j. कितना रहना चाहिए? Greater than zero. Minimum का केस आए कहीं greater than zero ही मत कर देना कि क्वेश्चन वही करा क्लास में. If the minimum quotient will come, z j minus c j should be less than equal to zero, right? So from here when you will solve this, you will get c two should be less than seven by two. That means the range of C two that it should be minus infinity to seven by two. Is it clear? C two seven by two से छोटा रहना चाहिए जितना मर्जी छोटा हो जाए highest range seven by two है. Is it clear? Now the third part is that your cost coefficient x one की आपको cost दी गई थी two three or four. उसको मैंने change कर दिया cost को. मैंने किसमें चेंज कर दिया वन टू और टू में इसका मतलब एक्स वन की कॉस्ट कितनी है वन एक्स टू की कॉस्ट कितनी है टू और एक्स थ्री की कॉस्ट कितनी है थ्री यू हैव टू डिस्कस द इफेक्ट राइट नाउ इफ यू हैव टू डिस्कस द इफेक्ट अब आपके बेसिक वेरिएबल की कॉस्ट भी चेंज हो रही है नॉन बेसिक की भी चेंज हो रही है इसका मतलब आपके सारे जेड जे माइनस सी जे चेंज होंगे राइट सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट ऑल योर जेड जे माइनस सी जे That will be your C B into alpha j minus C J. So this will be your C B means cost coefficient basic variable k. Basic variable मेरे optimal table में कौन थे? X three. X three का cost अब कितना है two? X one का cost कितना है one? Alpha j means last सारे सब के column multiply करोगे और उनकी correspondingly cost क्या करते जाओगे? Subtract. Is it clear? So you will calculate z one minus c one. That will be two one. This is your one zero. Sorry, zero one. First column is zero one minus the cost that you have one. So you will get answer as zero. Z two minus c two. When you will calculate, this is your two one. This is your answer. One by four, five by four. माइनस सी टू सी टू की कॉस्ट कितनी है टू चेंज होगी है कॉस्ट दिस इज माय एक्स टू वेरिएबल्स कॉस्ट सो दिस यू कैन कैलकुलेट दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी और माइनस वन बाय फोर जेड थ्री माइनस सी थ्री यू कैन कैलकुलेट द सेम यू विल हैव हियर थर्ड कॉलम अल्फा थ्री एंड यू विल सब्रैक्ट टू एंड यू विल गेट आंसर है जीरो जेड फोर माइनस सी फोर That means the column of alpha four minus zero because the cost of s one and s two is zero. It is coming out to be half. Z five minus c five. You can calculate this is coming out to be or one by four. Either you can calculate or what is the shortcut way? You can apply your row operations. I am writing this table. So if this is the table, right? Now you have changed the cost. अब आपकी cost two, three, four से क्या होगी है cost आपकी one, one, two, two, right? This is the cost. This is my one. This is my two. This is my two. S one की cost कितनी है? S two की cost कितनी है? Zero. तो अब आपका obviously Z J minus C J तो change हो गई. The same you can apply your 
रो ऑपरेशन रो ऑपरेशन कैसे लगाओगे इसके कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंगली आपका कॉस्ट क्या एक्स थ्री हम रिवर्ट करके लिखते थे ना साइन माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस टू सो अब मुझे एक्स थ्री के कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंगली क्या चाहिए यहाँ पे जीरो बिकॉज एक्स थ्री इज बेसिक वेरिएबल एक्स वन इज माई बेसिक वेरिएबल तो क्या चाहिए यहाँ पे जीरो सो यू कैन अप्लाई योर रो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आर नॉट विल बी आर नॉट प्लस टू टाइम्स आर वन प्लस वन टाइम माई आर टू इज इट क्लियर राइट आइदर यू कैन अप्लाई योर रो ऑपरेशन और यू कैन कैलकुलेट जेड जे माइनस सी जे फ्रॉम द फॉर्मूला दिस यू कैन कैलकुलेट द सेम इट विल कम आउट टू बी योर जीरो माइनस वन बाय फोर जीरो वन बाय टू वन बाय फोर एंड इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी योर एट ठीक है चाहे Z आप उस तरीके से भी कैलकुलेट कर लेना दैट सी बी इन टू योर एक्स बी सी बी इज नाउ योर टू वन एंड एक्स बी इज योर थ्री टू सो इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी योर एट आईदर यू कैन कैलकुलेट बाय फॉर्मूला और यू कैन अप्लाई योर रो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन राइट नाउ इज दिस ऑप्टिमल टेबल योर कॉस्ट योर फंक्शन वॉज योर मैक्सिमाइजेशन You stop the iteration if your all z g minus c g are greater than equal to zero. That means this is not my optimal table. And they have already told you that discuss the effect. If it has changed, then you have to tell what will be your optimal solution. That means this will become my entering variable. And for the leaving variable, I have to find the minimum ratio that you will calculate three by one by four. And two by five by four, so this is coming out to be minimum. That means this is my pivot element. I have to make pivot element as one. This element zero. This element zero. Apply your row transformation. So in the next entry. Here will be my x three. Here will be my x two and x three cost coefficient. Now here it is. We have changed. Actually, I have copied this, and this was your two, and this is your one. Now it has changed two. It is your two. You apply your row transformation. Can you apply row transformation, or should I write the formula? Multiply your r two by four by five. This will become your four by five one. This is zero. This is minus two by five. This will become three by five, and it will become eight by five. And you have to make this element as zero. Apply your row transformation r one minus one by four times your new r two. So it will become your minus one by five zero one. Three by five minus two by five, and this is your thirteen by five. And Z J minus C J. You apply your row transformation. R naught will be R naught plus one by four times new R two. So these entries will become one by five zero zero two two by five, and this is coming out to be your fifty two by five. Now can I stop at this iteration? Yes, because All my Z J C J are positive because it is a case of maximization. So my X one is in this case zero. X two is eight by five. X three is my thirteen by five, and the optimal value is my fifty two by five. Is it clear? Yes or no? This is when you change your Cost coefficient, right? You have to take care. It is a basic variable or it is a non-basic variable. If it is your known only or Z J minus C J of the non-basic variable will change. But अगर वो आपकी optimality disturb करेगा, तो इसका मतलब वो entering variable बनेगा and something has to leave, right? If it will disturb your optimality. If it is basic variable, all your Z J minus C J will change. ठीक है? अगर तो range ही कही गई है. तो सिर्फ वही पे एंड हो जाएगा बट अगर रेंज नहीं कही गई है आपको चेंज कहा गया है कि चेंज द कॉस्ट दिस देन यू हैव टू डिस्कस द चेंज द नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट चेंज इन
So change in right hand side. If you remember, I have denoted how whenever I have write, written the LPP, I have denoted it by small b, right? Do you remember we, where we use only small b? Only when we calculate my xb, right? Siraf mene b ka use wahi pe kiya tha jaha pe mene xb nikala. The formula was b inverse b. So that means when there will be change in your right hand side, that means the last column where you write your xb or you write your solution only, that will change. Is it clear? So we will start with the question that maximize z 3x1 plus 2x2 plus 5x3 subject to x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 less than equal to 43. 3x1 plus 2x3 less than equal to 46 x1 plus 4x2 less than equal to 42 and all your x1, x2, x3 all are greater than equal to 0 and the optimal table corresponding to this is given as Obviously, when I have solved this problem, I have introduced my slack variable in this, slack in this, slack in this. So, the questions I am solving, I am adding, adding only slack. The question also can that you can add your surplus variable also. There is a need also that you can add artificial variable. If the optimal table will be given to you, all the columns will be given to you. And the trick also can come. That I have told you I cannot give the table of values of A1, A2. But that can come corresponding to your surplus variable if you have added. Right? So the last optimal table which you got as this is X2, X3 and this is your S3. This is coming out to be your minus 1 by 4, 3 by 2 and 2. This is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 by 2 minus 0, minus 2, this is minus 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 1, this is coming out to be 10, 23, 2, and the answer here is 135, this is 0, 0, 0, this is 4, and this is coming out to be your 1 by 1 and 2, right? Now the question starts that it has given, find the optimal solution Find the optimal solution if right hand side 43, 46, 42 transpose is changed to 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 1, the right hand side the same is changed to 45, 46, 40. The third is within what range? Within what range? The first component of within first range, first component of RHS vector varies so that optimality is not disturbed. So, the question, the optimal solution is given to me. Now, my right hand side, which was 43, 46 and 42, has been changed to 60, 64, 59. That means my XB, which I have written this, only this will change, right? So my XB formula is B inverse B. If I have started this B inverse B, you can calculate ki jo agar aapke basic variables hai, unke columns ke correspondingly aap matrix likh lo. 
दैट इज एक्स टू का कॉलम एक्स थ्री का कॉलम एक्स थ्री का कॉलम फाइंड द बीन वर्स और यू कैन यूज द शॉर्टकट इफ आई हैव यूज दिस टेबल बट वॉज माई स्टार्टिंग इनिशियल बेसिक विजिबल टेबल एस वन एस टू एंड सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज माई बी इन वर्स राइट यू हैव टू चेक अगर मैंने ए वन बेसिक वेरिएबल लिया होगा तो ए वन के कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंगली मेरा पहला आइडेंटिटी बी इनवर्स बनेगा सो दैट मीन्स माई इनवर्स इज वन बाय टू जीरो माइनस टू माइनस वन बाय फोर वन बाय टू वन जीरो जीरो वन एंड नाउ आई हैव चेंज माई राइट हैंड साइड टू दिस सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फोर फिफ्टी नाइन इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी योर फोर्टीन थर्टी टू थ्री नाउ इज देयर एनी प्रॉब्लम इफ दिस सोल्यूशन इज कमिंग नो सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज माई सोल्यूशन सो वट विल बी माई जेड दैट मीन्स दैट विल बी माई सी बी इन टू एक्स बी सी बी इज योर टू फाइव जीरो नाउ यू हैव चेंज योर एक्स बी दिस इज योर फोर्टीन थर्टी टू एंड थ्री दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी योर वन एटी एट इज इट क्लियर नेक्स्ट बी पार्ट बी पार्ट यू हैव चेंज फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी टू ट्रांसपोज टू योर फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स एंड फोर्टी सो दैट मीन्स माई एक्स बी विल बी नाउ बी इन वर्स बी बी इन वर्स यू नो दैट दिस इज दिस फंक्शन बी आई हैव चेंज फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी दैट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी योर इलेवन ट्वेंटी थ्री माइनस फोर Is it clear? Now can I stop? अगर मैं यहाँ पे इलेवन ट्वेंटी थ्री और माइनस फोर आंसर दे दू क्या ये मेरा ऑप्टिमल और फिजिबल आंसर है नो सो दैट मीन्स इफ यू आर चेंजिंग दिस यू हैव टू अप्लाई योर ड्यूअल सिंप्लेक्स मेथड सो दैट योर ऑप्टिमैलिटी एंड फिजिबिलिटी बोथ विल अचीव ओके वी विल कंटिन्यू इन नेक्स्ट क्लास